Here I am in the small basic editor and I'm going to make a quick program so that students or adults for that matter can test themselves on their times tables. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the user, uh, so I'm going to text, now as you'll see that Intelli wheel is coming up and that is giving me the code that's available to me. So I can just select it and hit enter. This takes a lot of the errors out because you can tell when you're typing the wrong thing. And you can also see over here to the side it actually tells me how to use that particular piece of um, that particular command. So, so what number can you multiply with? Eh, that's not really the question. I think I mean is what is the largest number you can multiply? What is the largest number you can multiply with? So then I'm going to set a variable. Now a variable is just like it is in maths. You know, x equals 8. Well, limit, the variable limit, is going to be whatever number it is that the user types in in response to this. So text window, read number. It's going to read it off the screen. It's going to set it. Limit is going to equal that. So I need some numbers to work with now because I don't want to hard code in numbers. That would just be boring. So number 1 is going to equal maths, or math as Americans call it, and get random number. Now if I wanted the random number to be less than 10, I'd put in 10. Or less than or equal to 10, I should say. But because the user's given me their limit, I'm going to respect that and I'm going to code that in. I'm going to copy and paste that because I actually want two numbers. So I'm going to reuse my code and make number 2. So it's going to create two variables to multiply together. And of course the computer needs to know what the answer is. So number 1 times number 2. There we go. So it knows how to do the maths. Let's see if the user does. So we're going to write something on the screen for them, a little message for them. So right line. So what we're going to put on the screen is number one, which is going to be the first number the computer thinks of. Then we're going to have a little bit of text, which is going to be a space and an X and a space to look like times. Then we're going to add the second variable. And then we're going to add a second little bit of text to look like the equal sign. So we're just formatting what it is that's going to appear on the screen. This is um, pretty uninteresting in lots of ways. And then I close it off. Now, this should already work. Or more to the point, I'll, um, I'll collect their answer. I'll collect user answer. And, um, and this will basically work as the start of the program. So, again, I use the same code as before. Now, obviously, you have to learn the code. This isn't, you can't just sit here and imagine this stuff. You do need to do a little bit of preparation. This is, um, it's not, it is programming, you know, it's not point and click. So, let's run this program. Okay, largest number I can multiply with is 12. 4 times 5 is 20. There we go. So that's the basic program. But as you can see, it gives me no feedback. So let's code in some feedback. So, if user answer equals answer, in other words, I got it right, then we're going to write on the screen, Text window, right line, little bit of text, correct. There you go. I can put colour in and stuff, but I'm in a hurry, so I'm not going to. Else, obviously, if it's incorrect, then I'm going to give him a message for that too. Uh, right line, and just incorrect. Could be anything I want, of course. And I say end that little if statement. So there we go. That will now run through and it'll tell me whether I'm right or wrong. So let's have a quick look at that. Largest number I can multiply with is 12. 1 times 5, I reckon I can do that. It's 6. Oh no, that's incorrect. Final thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make this run a number of times. This is called a loop. So for i equals 1 to 10. So basically, I'm going to, it's going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth, and every time it's going to run the loop. So end 4. So it'll do, it'll ask me 10 questions. And what I could in fact do is say, um, when, I, when I get it right, score equals score plus 1. So it's bumping up my score. And then at the very end, I will have it print, and I'm doing this the quick and dirty way because I'm trying to get this done in five minutes. Right line, brackets, score. So, let's see if it'll fly. Largest number, let's say 10. 8 times 4, 24. 3 times 3, 9. Uh, 5 eights, 40. Uh, 18. 
three nines, let's say 99, because I want an incorrect in there. 12, 30, 10, 6, eh, 42. I was incorrect. And my total score is 7. Now, that's a little bit clumsy because I didn't fancy it up, but that is a completely functional program that is giving the user feedback, and with any luck, I've created it in less than five minutes.